Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. In this video we're going to talk about Microsoft To Do app. So in the beginning we are going to show you how you can install on your computer and then we are going to see what you can do with this app. This app is from Microsoft strangely for free. This app is a smart daily planner which helps you to stay organized during your working day. You can manage your to-do list online. This is a truly cross-platform task management app. Whether you are at home using the desktop app or are you using the mobile app on the go, you can access your task list and stay organized. You can share your to-do list very easily with your colleagues by using this app. So let's start with the first part of this video by downloading and installing Microsoft to-do on your computer. The steps are the same on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So first we need to open Microsoft Store. So we go at search and we type Microsoft Store. Once you see the app Microsoft Store, you just click over it to open. Once you have opened Microsoft Store, you need to search here Microsoft To Do. Then you will see from the search result, Microsoft To Do list, task and reminders. You click over it. Then we click over get in order to install this app on our computer. We can see over here that the rating is really good for this app. So now the installation of the software is done. So let's go ahead search and we type Microsoft To Do. Once you see the app Microsoft To Do, you just click over it to open. Then you need to sign in with a Microsoft account, which can be from work, from school or your personal Microsoft account. So we click sign in. This is the account that I'm going to use. We press over continue. If you want to use another account, you just click over the account that you want to use. It can be work or school or another Microsoft account that you want to use and we press continue. So here we are, my Microsoft To Do, it's up and running. Let's get started. Do you want to pin Microsoft To Do to the taskbar? You can do that or not. I'm gonna pin it on my taskbar, so we press over yes. Those are my two tasks that I have created for today. So let's check first the options that we have from the left. So by clicking over my day, you have the possibility to create your own task. By clicking over important, you can see your important task that you have for today or for other days. This other option assigned to me allows other users or other colleagues to assign a task to you. So this is a very good tool in case that you want to collaborate with your colleagues or with your boss. And if I go over tasks, I can see the list of tasks. You can see also this rubric here, which is getting started. And here you can find a lot of information which can help you to get started with this application. Also, you can find here another list which is called groceries and here you can make your list that will help you not to forget some of the groceries when you go to the supermarket. You also can create your new list so you can create your own list and you can make the title of the list however you want. So we click over here. My first list is going to be about work. So I name this list work and then I'm going to create another list which I'm going to name it YouTube. So you can customize this however you would like to do it. And then you can go over the list that you have just created and then you can create the task that you want. So for example, let's go over YouTube list and I'm gonna create a task. In order to write the task, we need to come over here and I'm gonna write my task right now. So publish video regarding Microsoft to do. And then over here you can define when you want to do it. So we click over this calendar here and we can define when I want to do it. So by clicking pick a date and we can define which date I want this task to do. Let's say I want to do this on Saturday. So we click over 29th and then I click over save. Over here you can define if you want this daily or weekly or how you want this task to be repeated. Once you are done, you just press over enter and the task will be listed here. If you want this task to be ranked as important, you have to click over this star here, which says mark as important, and it will be listed over this list here, but also it will go over the list important here. So let's go once again over the list YouTube and we click over the task that we have just created. And here on the right, we can do all the edits that may be necessary. For example, if you want to add more steps to this task, you can just click over add step and then you can create new steps. If you want to add files, you can add files also on this task that can help you to 
do your task you can also add a note for example i will write do this before you go out and if you want to assign this task to someone else you just click over assign to and then you create an invitation link and then you copy the link and you can send the link to the person that you want to do this task or you can click over this sign here share link and you share directly this link through this app you just need to know the email account of this other person to whom you want to assign this task once you are done with this task you just need to click over this button here which means that your task is completed so here we are the task is completed and this task will be ranked as completed the same things we can do with any other list that we have created for example if i want to create a task over the list work we go over work and then we click over add task here and we here we write the task for example create the new active directory user here you can also define when you want to do it for example i want to do this today and then you can define here if you want to repeat this task or not. Once you have already written your task, you just press enter and the task will be shown over here. So the steps are the same and you can edit as much as you want this task by clicking over it and then you see all the details regarding this task. If you want to share the whole list with someone else, you click over this button here, share list, and then you got the chance to share the whole list with a colleague or with your boss. If we click over my day, we can see here the tasks that have been created for today. Another interesting feature of this app is that when I click over the task, I can see this function here which says add to my day. And once I click over this button, add to my day, then this task will be listed over my day. So the task that I want for my day I can create them by coming here over my day and then I write here the tasks or I can create over any other task list but I just have to assign this also to my day list and you can access all this information regardless which kind of platform you are using you can do this on Microsoft to do web or in Microsoft to do desktop application or in Microsoft to do your phone. So basically that's all that I wanted to show to you guys. Hopefully you like this video and I strongly believe that this app can help you a lot during your work days. Thanks a lot for watching and please do not forget to subscribe. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.